What up YouTube, Bonsai here, back with another video. Uh, so firstly, I'd like to apologize for not having content out for a while. Uh, obviously, Christmas time came along and I got a little carried away, that's why I didn't have too much content for the past few days. But anyway, we're back in it now. So yeah, in today's episode, Alan is going to react to the last two factions in Ricky's Every Warhammer Factions Explained Part 1. So that's going to be the Official Assassinorum and the Inquisition. After that, I'm going to ask him about his overall thoughts on the Imperium of Man. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's get right into the episode, guys. Okay, dude, so this is going to be the final part now of your reaction to Bricky's video on Every Warhammer Faction Explained Part 1. How are you feeling? It's, uh, it's a lot to take in on uh, Saturday afternoon, but uh, it's very entertaining. This is like the second time, third time maybe, that I've been exposed to the Warhammer. It's like very... In depth, yeah, in depth. Like, it's well done. The video is well done. Okay, I think uh, with that, let's uh, oh, unless you have any holdover thoughts from the previous episode, or do you want to get into this one? Uh, no, I'm just excited. Like, what else is there? To, uh, this universe, yeah, every faction, like every single faction within the Imperium. That's just the Imperium of Man, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and then there's like other Xenos and yeah. their factions. And yeah, <laughs> insane, yeah. Let's okay, do let's do this. Yeah. All right, let's finish this. Let's talk assassins. Officio assassinorum. It's been a long video. We're about to round it out. We it got this and one video. more human thing, and then we're done. The assassins, though, the officio assassinorum. Uh -huh. Oh boy, these people are deadly. Yeah, they're called assassins. They should be, yeah. but oh be. man. These people will mess you up. So these right. are from the Officio Assassinorum, a very special organization, and they are handpicked by the Grand Master of the Officio Assassinorum from the, shit, what was it called? Scola Progenium. It's basically an orphan school. If your parents got murdered by demons or something, of course, you get sent to this and orphans. you get trained to Makes be sense. whatever. Uh, Tempestus Drop Troop, uh, an Inquisitor maybe even. Uh, maybe Ooh. you get a blank gene and you get thrown Inquisitor. into the system of silence, or sometimes you just disappear. When you are taken, however, you go to one of four temples because Ooh. the assassin norm works in a temple style of things. Okay. Each of these temples are the Vindicare, Caluxus, Calidus, and Eversor temples. We'll start with the Vindicare. I'm Vindicare. far away. I've been sitting here for three weeks. Poof! The Vindicare <laughs> Temple is the main sniper base temple. Snipers. Gigantic I'm far away, sniper been rifles for all these assassins. Ooh. Their like whole that. point is to be able to be in a spot and sit there, eye in scope, for weeks, waiting for their perfect target, taking people out from literal miles away mm. after extremely long time periods. The Vindicare Temple is about precise, perfect aim. There have been reports of Vindicares being able to single out particular body parts from over two, three miles away. Damn. Temples in the head, the jugular, for instance, Damn. and been sitting there after weeks. And when they're ready, take that shot. Time is done. Packs them up. The Caldus Temple, however, is a lot more about shape shifting and deviant art. It's mostly a female-based one, or at least it seems to be, and this allows a lot of body augmentation right. for certain individuals to be able to kind of transmorph themselves uh -huh. and uh, infiltrate areas that are problems. Looks These like the assassins alien. will end up taking missions that take them years, two, three years, to yeah. infiltrate a heretical group and slowly uh -huh. work their way up just to get enough time to put a bullet into the main target's head and then escape unharmed. Or become the main target and sabotage it from within. These are all Crazy. completely about deception, mind yeah. tricks, polymorphing, Ninjas. and everything in between. And uh, lots Ninjas. of drawings. Lots Lot, of drawings. Uh, the Eversor cartoon Temple. Cartoon booty. Just kind of disturbing one. The Eversor Temple is about when you don't want anything to come back alive, friend or foe. You want okay. it all dead. And Eversor yeah. is psychogenically conditioned Eversor. with just psychotherapy and psychological torture to only feel violence, hatred, and anger. It does the Clockwork Orange style of thing of just making yeah. you forced to watch never-ending pain and misery and, and psycho conditioning, I guess is the term. Yeah. And then they pump you full of tons of psychedelic drugs 
and they cry they drug you. you. And then you and oh, they wow. drop you in an area where they just want to make sure everything is dead. And then you defrost they full turn of you just into all this like insane violence. mind boggling psychotherapy and, and psychedelic drugs and you just go to town. Yeah, if you you don't care if anyone comes back alive. You're like, all right, lost cause. They just wind you up, in. pump you full Finally, of drugs. Finally, there's the most bizarre so temple, crazy. the Kaluxus Temple. The Kaluxus assassins are feared even among the other temples. Damn. So that blank gene, the people will go to the Kaluxus Temple with this as well. And this is where they can harness that to be massively anti-psyker or even just anti-regular people. They are seen with extreme fear and I like that. distrust among many, many people. They are described by the Eldar, by quote, as being pure evil. The Eldar? Imagine that uncomfortable feeling from that blank gene I mentioned. Uh -huh. And then imagine them being taught and given equipment to amplify it by amplify a hundred. That. If oh, normally wow. regular people feel uncomfortable, now they are basically akin to being a siren wailing directly in your ear. And yeah. if you're a psyker, oh no. The sheer presence of a Klux assassin is enough for you to assassin. tear your skin off. You yeah. will rather gouge your eyes out and yeah. rip your nails off than even being near this person. The Klux assassin is when you want psychers to literally lose their minds and they will go on their yes. knees and ask you to gun them down because yes. it is a suitable choice over being anywhere near you. The motto of that temple is mm -hmm. that which is unknown and unseen commands the greatest fear. Now, for the tabletop, oh. assassins aren't that Yeah, I want to be a Kalexis You can call assassin. them in, no matter what Imperium faction you are. And mm -hmm. they do a lot of work for themselves. But at the same time, they're very specialized and require a lot of finesse. And okay. they work the way you generally want them to, though. You want to cause some distortion and weird stuff, you take a Caldus. You want to just murder swaths of infantry and then blow up Eversor. You want to kill that one guy, Vindicare, and if you have a lot of psychers, Kalexis. It's a nice little, yeah. like jack of all trades if you have yeah. a specific thing you want to kill and you get to choose which which is really fun but now Brilliant. let's talk about the last human faction we can round this video out before we do part two yes the inquisition the we have inquisition. a lot to talk about with them well, on the subject of heresy. oh boy okay where do i even begin with the inquisition take, take every begin? secret police you mm -hmm. can think of uh, mm -hmm. The KGB, the Gestapo, the mm -hmm. CIA, FBI, any of these kinds of people. Mm -hmm. And then mark it up by about 10 mm -hmm. and give them the most power in the entire Imperium. What? Now, you know what? How about this? This, this right here, it's a, not just a quote. This is the Imperial motto, the motto of the Inquisition. Uh -huh. I apologize for my bad pronunciation. Innocentia nihil probat. Innocence proves nothing. The most powerful organization in the Imperium, the secret police, their number one motto is innocence proves nothing. The Inquisition goes around like the secret police or like detectives Crazy. to find issues in the Imperium. And they have different ordos, depending on which one we're talking Innocence about. The Ordo nothing. Hereticus, the Ordo uh -huh. Xenos, uh, the Ordo Malleus, for instance, and a whole bunch of other ones. Ordo Hereticus Malleus. is obvious, they deal with heretics. Xenos heretics. tries to find alien threats, and Malleus is demons. They all have different specializations in what they're trying to go for as this Inquisitor. And that's what they're called, Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Each of them, as an Inquisitor, has their own free reign to do as they wish. They may have <clears> a ship <throat> and a crew, and they go out to find problems and interrogate people a lot. They are above the law in they every are... department over Space Marines. Now, what? Space Marines might argue against them and stuff, and there might be a lot of blowback. Inquisitors but are above the studies. They are above them as Inquisitors. They are looking to investigate and figure out coups and cults and demonic incursions and possible Xenos issues like gene stealers or a new uh, threat coming into an area. They're about learning that stuff and actually doing detective work. And memes aside, they're pretty good at it. The Inquisition having all of this power does make them a little bit power hungry and frantic sometimes. And yes, it, and yes, it is still a bad thing, but most of them are pretty good at their job. And they spend a lot of time being very diligent to make sure that all of these leads they follow are proper and correct. They're basically space detectives 
with just enormous power and sometimes a bit of a power complex. And we haven't even talked about Exterminatus yet. Exterminatus? Exterminatus is deeming a planet unfit to be saved. I deem that this planet is demon infested and taking it back will cost too many resources and is not worth it. I have now committed exterminatus on this planet. I will now sign the death warrant of an entire Imperium planet. Exterminatus. As unfit to take and better to be destroyed than allow the enemy to hold it. This can mean saturation bombardment. This can mean cracking the planet's core and breaking it apart doesn't matter render this planet inhospitable to all life yes the innocence proves nothing people are the only people who can choose this planet must die in its entirety damn yeah you're playing the villain <laughs> now it is memed a lot but most inquisitors are very rare to do exterminatus exterminatus is a very crazy thing there's only so many worlds that you don't want to destroy all of them. Uh, now, naturally, with the memes aside, there are some people who are a little bit rough on this one. <coughs> <coughs> but most Inquisitors generally don't like to do Exterminatus a ton, but it is an option they have. And it's a crazy option when you think about it. Secret Police Inquisition are unfortunately not represented on the tabletop very much. You generally mm -hmm. kind of put one in your army if you feel like it. You have a couple special options there and some side content, but they're not really fleshed out very well. And personally, they need a lot more stuff put in there and they, they really need a lot more effort put into them. And they're not quite where I want them to be. Overall, the Inquisition makes for a lot of the best storytelling as well, because it's a little bit hard to talk about a big story of a whole bunch of space Marines killing mm -hmm. something. Right, it's just a big battle story. It's yeah. not as interesting. Having that intrigue and that moral dilemma that an Inquisitor mm -hmm. has makes for a lot better media. And honestly, the more people do it, I think it's better because then it adds a little more humanity to the Warhammer horrible, horrible grim darkness. And wow, we just finished the humans. All right, come back for part two when we talk about chaos and Xenos because we got to talk about the four chaos two. gods and all the chaos marine legions and the Tau, and the Necrons, and the Orcs, and oh boy, we got a lot. I'll see you in part two. Alright dude, so, uh, how do you feel about finishing the video right now? Man, like, there's a lot to take in, and at the end he's like, oh, this is only the human factions, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, there <right>. are other <laughs> alien, oh my god. There's more to this. Yeah, incredible. So uh, let's start off with the Assassin Orms, right? Uh -huh. So how do you feel about them? What do you think about them? What I were like, your favorite? I like them. They remind me, they're like a, like a ninja set, you know? And they've got like uh, the Sniper, I feel like the... Vindicators. The Vindicators, yeah. There's the Vindicators, there's the... Um, uh, Colexus is the evil one. Personification of evil. evil. The, the blank guys. Yeah. They're like augmented the mm -hmm. emptiness. Augmented emptiness. I love yeah. that. I like it. my favorite out of all of them is the Kalexis. I like the Kalexis. Just because their mere presence, you know, making them F's up people. Even yeah. normal people are messed yeah, up. Yeah, even them. like ah, oh, so much emptiness. It's like a vacuum. It like sucks in my soul and un without my consent. You know? <laughs> It's like, I don't have to do anything, just being in, being in that, but it's like... That's cool, yeah. Powerful. I love it. All right, That's so, my favorite one. And uh, how about the Inquisition? The Inquisition... I think, like, he mentioned towards the end, he's like, oh, they're more, like, uh, for... Uh, make for a better story, you know, that element of, like, uh, oh, you know, there's Intrigue. a heretic over there, and you have to go and investigate, and chasing the clues, and then you're using judgment, and then... Uh, judgment in the sense of discernment, in the sense of does this contribute to the case? And then there's that thing about innocence proves nothing. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all like everything tends to war, right? So innocence proves nothing. Whether you're found guilty or whether you're found innocent, it's fickle. The, the, the law of the land, the law, the law, L A W, law, L O R E, the law of the universe, the Warhammer 40k universe is violence and war, so like it's a means to an end. The end being conquest, the end being war, 
So innocence proves nothing, I reckon. <laughs> I, like, I, that's, that's my take on it. All right, and everything uh, just revolves around war and tends towards violence. So, like, uh, and uh, what do you think about like exterminators? People probably will be wondering, what do you think about exterminators when you heard of it? Like entire planets. I, I, I was curious as to how it was carried. Like, how did it, I thought it was like um, different like, methods. Okay. There's no one. Method. But there's the ends of it was like an end, like just annihilate the whole planet. Life right? gone. Life gone. I thought, I mean, to have why do you think they would do it? You got like you. You've got to back up your level. Like you have this innocence proves nothing, right? And that's a very bold, a very challenging statement. If you're if you're accusing someone or something of being a heretic or whatever, and you lead with the motto "innocence proves nothing," then you've got to have the violence to back it up. Like like I said, violence is currency. You know, like if I drive my car the wrong way and someone goes, hey man, this is the wrong way to drive your vehicle, stop me. And if he can't stop me, then I just do what I want and he won't say anything. So having exterminators is, a, is just a, the necessary violence for the power that they wield, you know. They don't use it, but it's just there. And everyone knows, like, they may have used it once in a while and, you know, work. just to show, as a show of strength. That's why, like, uh, militaries all around the world, they do, like, uh, parades and marching and their tanks and all this stuff, just to show, like, yeah, military strength, you know, like, personal... That's why, guys, we, like, work out, just to have that physical strength so nobody could push us around. We don't have to use it and beat anyone up. It's just there. Just so we can say shit like, innocence proves nothing. Like, that's stupid, yeah? Exterminatus, you're stupid. <laughs> All right, cool. So, um, You're in, dead. You're not, um, in general, then, uh, what do you think about the Imperium of Man? I think the Imperium of Man is, is a very interesting sort of. It's like first there was war where humanity is just fighting against each other, and then humanity is united by the the Emperor, and now we're fighting against heretics. You know, like everything just tends towards. I think it's. I love. I yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate the the exaggerations, but there there are there are human sort of there are elements of the human experience in there, and I can resonate with that. That's okay. yeah, fantasy. All right, all right, all right, brilliant. So, any final thoughts before we move on to I mean, end this episode? Um, man, if this was just the Imperium of Man, I can't imagine like there are other races and other factions among those races, and then their own take on everything mm -hmm. that'd be very interesting okay. though there is like a sort of a, a cohesiveness it's not just you know scattered and like when you take the time to look at each character and her motto and their conquest and their deeds and things like that it's like not the character but like factions and people when you look at them it like fits in well like it's not just the puzzles don't fit together it's just <laughs> all right i think we'll end this episode here and uh we'll see everybody in the next one where we actually start off part two and look at uh xenos brilliant all right guys see us